Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Can you guess what happens in a criminal organization with people who talk too much? Or let's make it 50-50. Do you think it's going to be happening something good or something bad? Well, we know something bad. In this case, <clears throat> we have a little situation where the fearless leader of Chechenia, Mr. Ramzan Kadyrov, I don't know his title, president, leader, supreme leader, I don't know, but he's in charge, he's the boss in Chechenia, he's a general, and uh, he is very upset with some people who talk too much. So I think they are a little bit in trouble. So let's see what this article tells us about that. This article comes from Ukrainska Pravda. It is from today, Wednesday, uh, February 15, 2023. Chechen leader criticizes Russian officials who voice Russian losses. Now, you might say, well, so what? What's wrong with that? Well, well, we'll see. Let's see what Ramzan has to say. So, Ramzan Kadyrov. Head of the Chechen Republic, head, uh, is that his title? Head, federal subject of Russia, has criticized the heads of Russian oblasts who published information about military losses in the war against Ukraine, Kadyrov, on Telegram. And I'm quoting Mr. Kadyrov, the head. Losses are inevitable when performing combat missions. The special operation in Ukraine is no exception. Our guys are dying while crushing the satanic evil spirits. But I don't understand when oblast leaders trumpet the numbers, number of deaths in a special military operation. I have a question. Why? They write everything in the smallest details. End quote. Kadyrov details. Kadyrov said that, and I'm quoting, there is no need to manipulate the topic of our heroes to write that there have been so many killed from this oblast and so many from that oblast. So why? Why do they trumpet the number of deaths? Now background. Earlier, Kadyrov said that Russian troops could reach Kiev and take it if ordered by Russian president. He also said he, they can get to Washington DC, so okay, by plane. Ukraine's defense intelligence stated that the losses of the Russian occupying forces are now the largest since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, and their priority remains to reach the administrative borders of Donetsk and Luhansk Oblast. Okay, now why would they trumpet that? First, from the, if the Ukrainians are upset about Kadyrov calling these guys out, they should look in the mirror first, because they're very... And it's not only they, this is very interesting, just so you know. To tell you, you can see how the Western media is like an order given. You couldn't find any information in any Western media or any kind of media of the approximate losses of the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians provide, I think every day, no, I think, I know, every day, they provide Russian losses, their estimates, with how many tanks, how many uh, howitzers or whatever, how many uh, MLRSs, how many airplanes, how many helicopters, how, ma how, many, how many people. They place the list. That list that they place is taken by Western media. You find it over there. They have it. Ukrainska Pravda brings the list from the Defense Ministry, Pak, you see it, sent by Reuters, CNN, and so on. I read these things every day. What's strange is that I don't hear anything about the Ukrainian losses. Is there no independent news media outlet in the West, in the free world, in the free world, to investigate and find out somehow a leak about the losses of Ukrainian? It's hard for me, it's hard for me to think that's the case. I would more inclined to believe 
that actually they know what they're supposed to and they were not they're not supposed to that's why i don't call them i shouldn't call them news these are not news because news is without interest you just get the news and you give it you know moving on the problem is they say well if they make a profit they would uh, they would give you the news no no if they would right now let's say uh, le monde in france they would publish right now the approximate number of the casualties or a list of ukrainian losses the monde will take it down tomorrow if tomorrow they'll do it tomorrow by evening is going to be gone burned like in 1984 the novel the dystopian novel of george orwell in the furnace of the past or something and isn't that interesting uh well yeah this is maybe they keep it so secret nobody knows remember that incident when the european commission president i think that's how her title reads uh ursula van der leyen when she said verbally not in writing verbally that she said well if said is verbal but anyway let's say she expressed it verbally that about 100,000 ukrainians it was about um, two months ago or something to about 100,000 ukrainians died or something like this the ukrainians called the european union bosses in an hour and they retracted that and the transcript that was on the site of the european union they took that out what is this well i know what it is those guys are all together the problem is that they could be all together against us because i am in that all in that all together but i want to know i want to find out i don't care what it is i want to find out but they don't let me find out i don't think that they don't know anyway move on with um, with Kadyrov, um, you say, well, do the Russians, uh, um, you know, bring forth their losses? According to Kadyrov, to the slightest detail, to the smallest detail. I, I haven't heard uh, the Minister of Defense of uh, Russia saying how many they died, but I don't remember, you know, giving every day number or number of how many Ukrainians died. I just want to know. I don't, I don't have a dog in the fight. I want to know, that's all, for my personal understanding of what's going on. But it seems like the news on this side, tight-lipped. And this reminds me, reminds me of something else. Uh, Kadyrov calls them out for good reasons. Why are you trumpeted? Do you hear the Ukrainians trumpeting it? But you say, hey, Emil, you said a minute ago that uh, the news should, uh, should, should say it. Well, I'm talking about the news from outside. I'm not talking about the news in Ukraine. I understand Ukraine is at war with these guys, right? Right? And these guys are at war with these guys. So I understand that there are certain regulations. The, the rights are infringed on all both sides. Ukraine had, uh, how do you call it, um, martial law since last year, the 24th of February. So their, their rights are limited. How much? There are curfews and other things. I understand it. They're under attack. But... BBC, The New York Times, Le Monde, Agency France Presse, Deutsche Welle. Where are you? Where are you? But on the other, on the other side here, this guy trumpeted. Who are those guys? Don't tell me that the freedom of speech in Russia is greater than the one in, I just mentioned, the wizards on the other side. Or maybe it is. Or maybe those are traitors. What are they? Kind of like weird. And I remember... Two instances. I will give you two examples. You can find them on uh, in YouTube if you want. Uh, both of them have to do with the bad guy Putin. Remember when uh, Georgia, the country of Georgia, not Georgia on my mind, the Ray Charles song, Georgia, the country, in the Caucasus, when they invaded South Ossetia during the Beijing Olympics. Remember that one? Putin was in Beijing watching the opening uh, ceremony of the Olympics when these guys with NATO uh, advisors, American advisors over there, they invaded, they attacked South Ossetia to take it back, that it's mine and so on. They invaded that. And in the, and in the process, they killed some uh, Russian army that are 
playing the role of peacekeeping according to the Europeans. So that's all legal uh, with, with that. So it was not like, uh, well, we can, we, you can call them occupiers, but they were not because they have a mandate, you know, given by the European Union. So anyway, these guys attacked. Putin was briefed. Putin was briefed over there in, in Beijing. Hey, those guys attacked. What should we do? And he said that he tried to find media to find what's going on from what the media said. He said 12 hours or so, or something like this, the media, the Western media kept quiet. He said like it was an order. He said, I would like to congratulate you for uh, the, 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 how you followed that order. About 12 or 24 hours, I can't remember. I think it was 12 hours. You can still find it on YouTube. And I don't know if that's true or not, but that's one. They were asked, what do you mean? And he said, well, I, it seems like an order was given. And right now, again, I don't find anything. So my mind gets me with that, to that. I said, ah, hmm, maybe it's an order given. I don't know. And that's one. And the second one, referring to Kadyrov being upset to these guys talking about BS, Putin uh, uh, talks with uh, the press, I don't know, about seven, eight years ago or so. Or so. And he got a weasel over there, a person kind of person. Watch that. Uh, and he calls the guy out and he tells him, why do you uh, uh, send, you uh, promote lies that you know they're lies? And he gives the example and so on and he gets that guy. Well, the guy is uh, kosher, but it's just a coincidence. And uh, anyway, he just calls that guy out. I mean, you know that what you're saying through your media, to your media, uh, whatever he's got, a channel, that's a lie. And why do you do that? Are you with those or are you with us or you're just independent? You're not independent because you know what you're saying, you're promoting is not. And he calls the guy out. The guy thought he's going to be hung on the spot. It was a long table with eating, dinner and so on. It was not a setting of a uh, no, Q&A. But Kadyrov, again, what, why, why do you talk, guys? We are at war. Why do you talk? We make them heroes later. But now? So, I don't know. From my perspective, being at war, I think everything should be zipped in the countries. I think the role of the international free mass media is to find out what these guys don't give you or give us. That's how I think it is. But the problem is these guys are quiet and these guys are talking. Who are those guys? Maybe... Kadyrov is going to pay them a, a visit to uh, give them some... Um, uh, he doesn't drink because he's a Muslim, so I don't know what he's going to give them. Some presents. <laughs> let's, let's leave it to that. So, where is the Western mass media? Why is it not saying anything about, let's say, the losses coming from Ukraine? Of the Ukrainians. After all, they are free. And they're impartial. Yeah, you know exactly why. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.